Welcome to the Hollywood Critics Association's big celebration of the small screen, streaming edition. Without further ado, let's welcome your host for the evening, award-winning stand-up comic, actor, and writer, Cameron Esposito. And welcome to the second annual Hollywood Critics Association TV Awards. I'm Cameron Esposito, your host for tonight. I know, it's, it's confusing. My, my friend, uh, Tignataro, was supposed to host the show tonight, but she had to cancel due to COVID. We send our love, Tig. Of course, some of you are going to go home tonight and think you saw Tig <laughs> host the show. But I'm actually, I'm a different um, white lesbian comic. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm actually not, I'm not even Ellen <laughs> either. It's, there's, there's three of us, there are three of us. And, and of the three, I'm the one with the fewest houses, so. <laughs> I really need this job. Okay, for now, for now. Y'all, this is really true. I got the call yesterday that they needed a host for tonight. I was in New York. I flew to Los Angeles this morning. I am competing against the sound of 400 of you eating dinner. I am wearing leather pants that I panic bought on a hot New York day yesterday. And we know how leather pants could go. We all saw what happened to Lenny Kravitz. I guess what I'm saying is please be nice to me. Please. First up, let me just uh, get this out of the way. I want to address my pronouns because I do look a little pronouncy. I use she and they, because sometimes I feel like a woman, sometimes I feel like a cartoon fox. <laughs> and that's not even confusing. You know what I mean, you can see it. <laughs> Honestly, I am so honored to be here hosting the Huckas. <laughs> when they asked me to host, I said, absolutely. I totally know what that is. <laughs> then I did a quick Google and I found out that um, this is an award show put on by critics. <laughs> Which is great. I'm the perfect person for the job here. I've actually hosted award shows in this very room. Like I've hosted the GLAAD Awards here and I had my favorite moment in my own Hollywood experience in this very room at the GLAAD Awards. The Gettys were in attendance, the Gettys were here. And I said to them, um, congratulations on owning three museums. <laughs> and they said, four. <laughs> Felt like a real idiot owning zero museums. <laughs> Seriously though, I admire you for taking control and creating your very own award show. And I extra love that for some reason, it's two days long. Like, did you guys sleep here? Not, not like in the hotel, I mean here, physically in this room. But really, there is so much television right now that I can't believe you were even able to squeeze these awards into two days. How did you do it? Tonight, we are honoring excellence in the streaming space, or as I like to call it, television I actually watch. I just want you to know I wrote this monologue in one hour. <laughs> it's going well, it's going really, it's going well. And by the way, I'm not down on network TV. I'm on a network TV show. I'm on a million little things on ABC where I play a heartthrob, obviously, you have eyes in your face. But let's just say, Hollywood may be watching streaming television, but people in airports, they are watching network TV. By the way, you can stream a million little things on Hulu, Fubo, Amazon, Vudu, Google Play, and um, 
other places. I also don't know if Fubo and Voodoo are a real things. Somebody told me that and I put it in, but I'm not sure what that is. Streaming is amazing, isn't it? Like just how everything changed so fast, you know? I remember when I had to use my ex-girlfriend's Netflix login to have physical DVDs delivered to my house. And now, 10 short years later, she won't talk to me. <laughs> By the way, if we, and this is a risky joke. <laughs> By the way, if we had fingerprinted those Netflix DVDs of the L word, we would have a list of every lesbian in America. Because we all just bought, we all sent, and by the way, that's a list we should not have, especially with the Supreme Court as it is now. Am I right? Okay. There are so many amazing people here tonight from streaming TV. My goodness. Some of my favorite cast members from my favorite show are here. <laughs> like, uh, hello to the cast of Ted Lasso. I am as excited to see you fellas as I am devastated that Hannah Waddington is not here. I mean, <laughs> that's rough for me. It's okay, I'll see her in my dreams later tonight. Um, Brett Goldstein, you're gonna be Hercules. Super congrats, enjoy the bread, the last you'll ever eat. By the way, did you guys know that that um, show was originally about a women's soccer team? But no one could imagine paying women to play soccer. Yeah. <laughs> the people who made Britney versus Spears are here. Love that documentary. I know y'all are nominated for your documentary tonight, but I just wanna say it's, you've already won, you know? I mean, you, you literally, helped free Britney. God bless you, and God bless Britney's Instagram. <laughs> Bo Burnham is nominated as well, though. I don't think he's here tonight. He... Really, why would he be anywhere ever again? The guy's making Hucka nominated stand-up specials from his house, okay? Doesn't matter. On a personal note, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that half the nominees for best streaming reality shows are queer content. Half! Which I mention because that is such a bummer. I'm looking for 100% people. 100% queer nominees, all categories. Hannah Einbinder from Hacks is here. <laughs> I love Hannah, she's a friend. She's, she's so good on the show. You know, she's incredible. And um, yeah, that's, yeah, we should clap. I just wanna say, you know, it's amazing that you've had so much success so early as a woman in stand-up. And may I just add, as someone who needed Two full decades to get here as the last minute confusing replacement for Tig Notaro. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> and you too, Iowa Debris, wherever you are currently starring in The Bear. God, you're good at that show. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying to both of y'all is the least you could do is address me by chef from now on. All right. Well, we did it. We got through the month. I'm that's such a relief. <sighs> I did good. Yeah. That was good. I can like I'm, yeah, I did good. Oh, all right. It is time to start the second half of this 48-hour award show. <laughs> Drink some water. You're going to want to breathe deeply. Cause we gotta make it through this whole show 
It's, it's, uh, it's streaming live online right now. I probably don't need to say online anymore. You just say streaming. It's like, I should stop saying cell phone. Just say phone camera. Anyway, it doesn't matter. My point is, let's give out some of the biggest awards to the biggest bullies in show business, the critics. <laughs> just kidding. We love you guys. And thank you so much for having me. Here to give out the award for the best stand-up comedy special are HCA members Jamie Philbrick and Stacey Vaughn.